بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أبدى المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين رب العالمين What this ayah meaning? How I reflect under this ayah? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who educates and create people. It's he who raised us in the wombs of our mothers before birth. He was the one who raised us young and created us indifferent. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the educator of all the worlds by creating them, preparing them, and granting them great blessing. Every blessing we have is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. The one who provides us with what we need is our Lord, and who nourishes our bodies is our Lord, and who educates our soul is our Lord, and who guides us to rise the path Sends us to his door is our Lord. The owner who owns the camel say, I am the owner of the camel. The one who owns the house say, I am the owner of the house. I am the Lord of the house. This is the meaning of Lord. We can understand also this word, the meaning of this word, of the name of the Lord or Rabb simply from the relationship of the father to his sons. The father who seeks to provide his children with everything they need. He seeks to raise their bodies, raise their minds, raise their, their souls, raise them socially, raise them physically, raise them religiously. This is the kind and merciful father who is only concerned about the happiness of his children. is not only worried about their happiness, also worried about their faith. This is the case of the child with a father. They are completely taken care of. So, now you can understand how our Lord takes care of us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who owns everything, the one has complete control for everything, the one who has authority of everything, the one who rewards us, who punishes us. Now, you should know that there is a relationship between us and Allah, between us and Rabbul Alameen, the Lord of the world, between us and our master. He is a master and we are slave for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But this kind of slavery is not like any slavery in your life. You don't feel shame to be a slave for Allah. You feel honor to be a slave for Allah. You don't be a slave in the time of worship and another time you are free. You slave for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all the time. From the beginning of your life until the end of your life. When you be a slave for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you, more, you be more close for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and more happy in this world and hereafter. And of course, when you say, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, Allah wants to tell you, if you are so grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and we have to praise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then naturally we want to become his slave. And this kind of slave, you do it by love. Because this kind of slave make you free from any slavery else. This kind of slave gives you guarantee from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he's only your master. No one can harm you. No one can hurt you. No one can take from you anything. No one can give you anything without permission of Allah. From your master, no place thing more than that. More than he is your master. When you say it, feel it. 
that you are among this world. You are one of this world. Who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raised and created and provided and blessed with them. He will never waste you. He will never dis disregard you. Because he is your Lord. Because he is the Lord of the world. And because of that, he never let us without guidance. This kind of guidance is to make us happy in this world and hereafter. He doesn't leave us without religion because our hearts need religion more than our body need blessings. When you say Rabbul Alameen, in this world you feel honor and compassion are all gathered within in one word, Lord of the world. The one who caring and gave you everything you need. Uh, our Lord, the Majestic, nourishes our bodies by supplying them with what they need and raises our soul by recommending them to be worthy of His paradise. With Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are in intensive care. He never lets you without caring in your life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because He loves us, He hastens us in, in punishment in this world. Because if God loves His servant, He will erase His mistake by a lot of tests, by punishing him immediately. He don't make him late for the day of judgment. You are with the strong. You are with the rich. You are with the merciful, you are with the creator, with the first and with the eternal. You are with the one who has everything. And when you read it in Surah Al-Fatiha, when you say Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, you must understand in, and you must thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he gave you way and he gave you opportunity and he gave you ability to read his book and to understand his book and to working under this book you must thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he is your Rabb he is your Lord subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik astaghfirak Rabbi wa atubu ilayk أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبد الله ورسوله والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين أمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر